Sorry? I don't know what has happened. I was on the ground and uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I was in the ground. Then I see um, that this got uh, interrupted. Uh, technology issue, we're always facing these challenges all the time. And that's what we live with. We live with this. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and finish. Uh, we, are, we are almost to the end of our uh, program. I want to show you a uh, few more things. Uh, I'm extremely sorry for what happened, but uh, program. I want to show you. Uh, okay. What we're doing, we're sleeping with a, like a uh, baby, putting our feet together. It's called Sukta Bodho Konasan. Then we're breathing, breathing out longer than breathing in. Then we're holding our breath as long as we can. And then we're holding our breath, count of one in, count of four hold and count of two out. And then from there, what you do for a proper sleep, you first, you sleep on your right side. When your right side is like in the balance, yogis have no, yogis sleep like a, your fetal position, they used to put your head under both hands or hand like this. On the right side, your left nostril opens up. When your left nostril opens up, that it is a cooling. So initial our body is very heating, it doing the balance of cooling. Once the cooling is done, remember in the sleep, your inner core temperature goes down, then you turn around and sleep on your left side. You sleep on your left side, and the way you sleep, let me show it to you, this is the way you will fall asleep. I sleep like this all the time. You may not even need a pillow. But if you need a pillow, it's okay. Put a pillow under your head. Uh, maybe you can get a pillow, very small pillow. You don't need too much of a high pillow to sleep. Here it is. You can go into the fetal position, hands in between, and here you are. It's a guaranteed good dreamless sleep. You wake up, put your feet on one side, put your hand, and take a little bit of a time to balance, and then get out of your bed. Get off your bed, you maintain your daily routine, you know, drink a glass of water, call a wusha pan, then you do your nasal washing, Call your native heart, tongue scraping, and continue your daily routine. Do not try daily routine. As you see in the your pranayama practice, what it does, that your bastrika, the bellows, is your sign of your health. It brings a prana, life force, in your body. You do a kapalvati pranayama.
So do the Kapalbhati Pranayama. Kapalbhati Pranayama ignites your digestive fire. It's called your, it gives you, brings your health back in. It's a wonderful practice. You do your abdominal lock. Very important practice for a healthy living. Breathe out first. You can come in the front a little bit. Maybe able to see me better. With the sunshine coming in. I can be in the sunshine. You can see me better. You'll see your abdominal lock. Is the inner abdominal lock? Breathe out first. Take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out. Suck your stomach in and hold. Do your Agnisar Kriya, move your abdominal wall back and forth, very good sign of health and healing, sign of healthy life, healthy living. So take a look at me, how to do it, then you will be able to do it on your own. Sorry, so this is the, it's like inside the house but looks like you're outside in the sunshine breathe out first take a deep breath in completely breathe out suck your stomach in and move I do it generally five to seven times or ten times. It's a wonderful practice. Relaxation practice. Okay, let me see if I can close the shade a little bit. So affecting my eyes. things are going to happen is that <clears throat> it's moving and massaging your abdomen. Breathe out first. Take a deep breath in. You're going to do alternate nostril breathing. And always remember when both the nostrils are open, that's a sign of health. 
So you can practice first thing in the morning. You can close off one nostril. Here I am. You don't have to push all the way down. Just close your the opening of your nostril. Breathe in and out your left nostril. Left nostril is open. Test your right nostril. Close your left nostril now. Right nostril. Still open. Maybe more on the left side than the right side. What you can do, you can do a Kapalbhati Pranayam through one nostril to open it before you do alternate nostril breathing. So like you close your right nostril, you do Kapal Bhati Pranayam to the left nostril. Left nostril is going to open up. Close your left nostril, do the Kapal Bhati Pranayam to the right nostril. Both the nostril is very widely open. Do the alternate nostril breathing. Use the right hand to close your right nostril. Breathe out to your left nostril. Breathe in through your left nostril. Drop your ring finger, little finger. Close your left nostril. Breathe out to your right nostril. Breathe in through your right nostril. Close your right nostril. Breathe out through your left nostril. Continue your alternate nostril breathing until you have any effort. Left nostril is controlled by the right brain. Right brain is intuitive, right brain is female, right brain is cooling. Left nostril breathing is cooling, it's called Chandranai, moon energy, parasympathetic. Right nostril is controlled by the left brain, left brain is analytical, heating, male and sympathetic. Right nostril is called heating, sympathetic. It's called Ida and the Pingala. You can always focus with your index finger and the middle finger. It's called a Vishnu Mudra. And also close your eyes, bring your awareness, hold on to your left nostril, left ear lobe. It's a balancing alternate nostril breathing. People want to do meditation. Remember one thing, meditation is also a sign of health. Meditation will come to you. You prepare your physical body, prepare your breath, prepare your mind, meditation will set in. Meditation is not that you're able to sit down, close your eyes and able to breathe. Meditation is basically staying calm in the middle of crisis. Meditation is your life. Here I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm showing some practices and discussion. This is my meditation. I'm cooking, that's my meditation. I'm reading a newspaper, that is my meditation. When you stay, prepare. So you're not practicing. When you're doing your proper asanas for pranayamas, when you have a nice, healthy living, meditation is a part of your life. Let's finish with a practice called a very powerful, healthy practice. It is called your Ujjayi Pranayam. Ujjayi Pranayam is called your resistive inhalation. These are signs of health that you are able to breathe in with the closing your throat, 
It is called activation of parasympathetic tone, relaxing. At the same time, you will be able to do the abdominal lock. And in the abdominal lock, you will be able to do your chin lock. Chin lock causes massage of the carotid sinuses. And then you will do a, a left nostril breathing. It's called Chandra Vedi Pranayama, which is cooling. So let me show you resistive inhalation with all the practices of relaxation. Hands again in the Adi Mudra, which is very relaxing. Breathe out first. Take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out. When you're able to practice resistive inhalation along with a sucking your stomach in, able to touch your chin to your chest, then able to breathe through your left nostril, this tells you you've overcome all the chronic diseases with maintaining a good quality life and health. You do your resistive exhalation. It is called Shankha Pranayama. That you want to breathe against your resistance. So use your hand, do your baby fist or called yogic fist, put one on the top. Breathe out first, take a deep breath in, breathe out against the resistance. Breathe out first, take a deep breath in, Try to breathe out through your mouth. It's like blowing a conch shell. Improves your breathing. One more time. Breathe out first. Deep breath in and blow out through your mouth. One very powerful sign of health is that you learn how to control your five senses. Five senses keeps us awake, alert, and active. When you are in a good health, you'll be surprised that you'll be able to keep your spine straight and you'll be able to close your eyes and stay in silence. People whose mind are active Remember, our physical body is like a hardware, mind is a software. When the mind is active, physical body is unhealthy. Software is had a bug in software, hardware is not going to be fixed. So say, last few minutes we have, let's practice. If you're with me, see if you can practice with your eyes closed and stay in silence. 
Always remember, you can put your mind awareness in your breath, but slowly and slowly you will get defocused, which is called your dharana, and you will enter into meditation without knowing that you are there. Hands in a dhana mudra, touch your index finger and thumb, put over your knees, keep your spine straight, close your eyes and stay in silence. Slowly bring both the hands in front of you, touch your little finger and thumb, separate your ring finger, middle finger and index finger, open your hands, this is called your Padma Mudra, Lotus Mudra. It touches your body and mind, connects your body and mind, slowly bring it close to your heart, heart is a site of your soul. Yoga practice gives us wellness, physical wellness, mental wellness, spiritual wellness. It gives you a wonderful experience of health and healing. You feel healthy, happy and peaceful. Slowly bring your hands in front of you. Finally, it's a wonderful daily practice. Rub your hands, rub your hands. When you feel the warmth in your hand, if you're wearing glasses, remove your glasses. Take the hand as a cup, put it over your eyes. Let eyes take all the heat. Massage your forehead, massage your eyes, massage your face, massage your head and neck. Especially in the ear, back of your ear, front of your ear, tragus inside even, you know, external ear canal. This is called activation of the auricular branch of the vagus nerve. Bring it up here, massage your carotid sinuses. Carotid sinuses gives you a very proper relaxation, massage in the back. It's a wonderful practice. So all healthy living life, health, happiness, peace, all comes with a wonderful daily practice of yoga therapy. Thank you for joining today. I'm sorry we had some technical uh, mishaps and it happened when I was showing you how to sleep. So I didn't notice it. So it might have been there for a while, but we'll see you again in next Saturday for another practice. Thank you for joining. We'll see you again in next Friday and Saturday.